Di da 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 Hello everyone, photographer Andre Designs here with a new retouch video. Alright, so today we'll be doing a retouch and also turning the image into black and white. Another thing, I'll be putting the image um, in the description for you to download and you can edit with me. Alright, so first I have to find which one of these images I will be using. As you see, I was using the Tamron um, 7200, which I sold that lens. And I think, I don't remember what camera I was actually using. I think it was the D7100 at the time. And I was shooting in my studio. Alright, so, um, oh, the model did her own uh, makeup as well. Ah, I'm trying to find which one of these images I would work on. All right, I'm going to edit this image. All right, so let me bring it over to Photoshop. Um, a shortcut you could um, hold on on um, Control and then press E, and it brings it right to Photoshop. Let's see? Control E. All right, good. So we're in Photoshop. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to press C on my keyboard for the crop tool. And I'm going to crop it to the 4 by 5 ratio. That's the 8 by 10 in inches. And I'm going to crop this image. So bring it to about right here. I always like to crop my images. Always. So right here, I think, should be good. Let me get some of the nail in it. Good. Right there. Alright, that looks okay. Kind of look weird, but <laughs> still going to use it anyway. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do now is to um, apply the mixer brush. So I'm just going to come over here to the frequency separation um, action and you can download this action uh, in the description uh, and to install it once you download it, download it on your computer you come right here click right here come down to where it says load um, uh, actions and then you look for the action wherever you download it on your computer once you select it it comes up um, like this if you want to have buttons you do this good all right, so let me quickly go to the frequency separation 16-bit um, because I'm working on a 16-bit image. And raw images are normally 16-bit um, images. And then um, the low frequency layer is already selected, so I'm going to come over here to the mixer brush. Normally, mixer brush is under um, uh, brush. So if you click and hold on on brush, you'll see the mixer brush under it. But I took mine out and put it here so I can access it very easily um, also, also ensure that your brush is cleared ensure that this area here is cleared and your wetness is at 2% everything else can remain the same alright so I'm just gonna zoom it up a little bit and start mixing all right, so using the mixer brush, what will happen is that it will flatten the model's face or the skin. And when it flattens the um, model's face, if there's any acne or blemishes, it will become flat and it's easier for you to remove using um, whatever tool you use to remove your blemishes and your pimples. So I'm just um, flattening the entire image. And I'm just going to use dodge and burn to get back the dimension of the image, you know. Right, so flattening the image like this also um, uh, keeps the texture of the skin. So it doesn't blur the skin any at all. It just flattens the skin, but you still have the texture. 
when you're using the mixer brush you have to ensure that you know you stay in the lighted area or the highlighted areas or the dark areas so you're not going to go from the dark to the light areas i always say that in all my videos um it's best to follow that <laughs> all right because if you go from dark to bright it's going to show and it's not going to look good all right so i'm in the lighted area right here as you can see that i'm going over to the dark area I'm using an X Pen. You can look for X Pen graphic tablets. They're cheap. They're about eighty dollars, or eighty nine dollars, I believe. Uh, you can get one for. And you doesn't you don't you don't have to get a um, Wacom tablet. That's too expensive. Honestly, you don't need to get. It. If you have the money, yes, get it. But you don't need to get one, because there are other there are other brands out there that are very cheap and it works just the same. Because remember, it's not the brand that actually do the work, it's you. <laughs> but um, if you want to buy quality products, I mean, products that are way, are expensive, you can go right ahead and do that. But um, if you think that if it's because it's cheap, it's not good, um, that's sad because it is actually good. All right, so let's look at it before and after. Let me zoom out a little bit. So before after so you see it blends the skin good all right so i know i upload i try to upload a video every friday um i might do two videos per week one every friday definitely every friday and i might um just add a random video during the week as well but the auto videos like how to do this how to do that i have um i can actually upload any on any one of those um videos at any given time but i think i want to i think i want to um i think i want to upload more um videos i want to have you guys busy editing <laughs> So I might just upload two videos per week. One definitely on Fridays and then um, one some other time during the week. All right, so before and after. And if you look on the skin, it still has a texture. So the next um, step now is to go to the high frequency layer. And I just noticed that I have two um, Ys in, in frequency. <laughs> all right um i bet most of you guys didn't notice that all right so the first thing i'm going to do now well the second thing i'm going to do is to go to my um uh what's this clone stamp brush our tool and i'm just going to sample an area and paint over the blemishes that i'd like to have removed or the pimples i'd like to have removed so what you do is to hold on an alt to select the area that you want to um select from and then you go to the area you'd like to cover and then you paint so alt and then click on the um area and then go to the area that you'd like to clean up you don't really have to use the um what's this the clone stamp you could use the patch tool you could use the healing brush anyone actually works but the this one actually works better for me but there are times I use the patch tool. All right. All right. If you download the image to um, edit, please, guys, don't upload it to your social media. Um because uh i'm only giving you the image for practice you should not actually post any of them so try not to post the images on your social media just use it to practice and then um you can then work on your own images at least you have an understanding of how i work and how the tool actually works and the effect that it, it gives but um these images are just for practice so don't upload them to your social media pages all right all right that 
looks good. Alright. I do have some behind the scene videos that I haven't edited yet. Um I am not even sure if I want to edit them, but I'm going to edit them and upload them pretty soon. It's just that I wanted to do more and I didn't really get the chance to do more in those um, videos why I don't really want to upload them but I might just upload them soon all right so I think I am through with making the edits of removing the um the pimples so let's got a before and after I'm holding on alt and I'm clicking this eye right here so that's the before that's the after before after all right so the next thing i'm going to do now is to go to dodge and burn so i'm going to click on my dodge and burn layer there i'm going to press b on the keyboard for the um the brush and ensure that my flow is at one percent and then i'm going to do some um contouring now so um i'm on the uh, burn um layer so i'm just going to uh burn the side of her nose because normally when you're contouring you know that area is dark right here as well let's look at it before and after before after good i'm just gonna do right here and right here so sometimes it's best to follow um the the direction of the light so wherever there is no light there's shadow so you um you paint there and wherever you see light when you're doing the um when you're doing the highlighting you highlight there as well so i'm going to go over to the dodge which would be the highlighting and then i'm just going to highlight these areas right here as well The chin side right here could highlight right here as well right here the neck all right good so let's look at it before and after for the dodge and burning before after before after good just gonna dodge right here as well Let's get a little more highlight right there good so that's that so you see it's pretty easy once you have a good image shot in studio and you have a, a really nice um, model the makeup is applied properly shouldn't be hard for you to edit those images all right so i'm going to put some highlight in the eyes now so i'm going to go down to the adjustment layer here and then get the curves then I'm going to bring the curves up a little bit and then I'm going to click right there then control I to invert and get my brush at flow is going to be at 50% I'm going to get it smaller uh, my foreground is white and then I'm just going to highlight the eyes good so that's it no need to do anything else just some highlights and what you're seeing in the eyes is actually the reflector that was under her chin and this is the catch light at the top so I was using one light for this um, setup I believe I was using one light it seems as if I was using two because there's a light right here and right here but maybe I was using two I don't remember because I did this some time ago last year all right let me check on something here very quickly oh yeah I did this 2017 and I was using yeah the D7100 that's what I was using at the time so you see you don't really need a full frame camera to get awesome shots like these but for certain jobs like if you're working for some corporate companies uh, like real estate and stuff like that you need like a full frame camera so you have to think about that as well all right so that's done so i'm going to go back to the adjustment layer and i'm going to add color to the image as you know i always add color to my images 
so i'm gonna before i add color to the image though i'm gonna go to the contrast and brightness and i'm gonna put the contrast at 10. as a matter of fact i'm not gonna add any any um i just remember that this image should be black and white i'm not gonna add any color to this image i'm just gonna add black and white so i'm gonna come right here where it says black and white and then once i added the black and white um to the image i'm gonna make some adjustments to it so i'm gonna Control shift alt e then control j to duplicate it then it's going to be control shift a for camera raw and i'm going to make some adjustments to the black and white image so for the blacks i'm going to bring down the blacks a little bit so about right there then i'm going to go to the highlights and bring it up a little bit so the highlights is basically the white areas contrast i'm going to bring it down okay i'm gonna bring it up like right here and then shadows i'm just gonna put the shadows at two clarity clarity is gonna be at about four all right so i'm just gonna click okay good so like before and after see the image looks flat right there and then once i apply the um the adjustment i did in camera it looks more rich right good so that's it for this image there's nothing else i need to do on this image this is a beautiful black and white image you'll have the image in the description to download it and take a look i mean uh, do the same thing i've just done then you have a better understanding of how to edit your images thank you guys for watching <laughs> If you did not subscribe to my channel, now is the time to subscribe. If you like this video, click like and share and follow me on Instagram. Um, thank you guys again. Uh, new video coming pretty soon. But a new video is always going to be uploaded on a Friday. <laughs> thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.